This is the market update for October 2024. So currently in Parkland, Florida, we have 165 homes on the market. So we are getting closer to a buyer's market. Just last year, we had 93 homes at this time. So there's 44% more homes for sale. So buyers have way more properties to look at than they did just one year ago where we had a seller's market last year. And we're actually in that phase of becoming more of a buyer's market. You look back to March of 2020 when we had that stay in place order with COVID in Parkland, we had 182 homes for sale. So we're not at pre-COVID available inventory numbers in the city, but we're getting mighty close. So close sales for October of 2024, 45 single family home sales in 2023, we had 41. So we've had a 9% decrease. So we're still pretty steady on year over year sales. The median sales price for October of this year was $1.2 million. Last year it was $1,121,000. So we've seen despite added inventory, 44%, we've had a 7% increase in sales price value. So homes are going up despite interest rate increases, despite houses being more available, more options for buyers. And we also know back in the stay in place order of March, 2020, the median sales price was just $700,000. So we've increased 42% since then. So if you bought a house before COVID or right at COVID, even a little bit after COVID, you have a 42% increase in value. So when somebody tells you that buying a, a piece of property, uh, you know, for, for an investment, it's certainly a, a lifestyle investment in Parkland, but certainly an investment as well. So the median time to contract, meaning how long a home was on the market until it received an offer and went under contract. October of this year, 48 days. That's really strong. Last year, it was 34 days. So again, houses are staying on the market longer as we have a lot more inventory and interest rates are still at 7%. So 29% increase in time on market. The month's supply of inventory, October of 2024, we're right under a four-month supply where last year we had only a 2.4-month supply. So a 36% increase in month supply of inventory. So we have more homes to see available, which is good. If you're looking to sell and buy, you can, you have more homes to look at. Buyers can be a little bit more patient and a little bit more particular. Um, and that's what we're seeing in today's market. So these numbers are very attuned to somebody who's looking to make a move right now. What does that mean to you? If you're a buyer in Parkham, well, you have a lot of inventory to look at. Sellers might come down at this time as we get closer to Thanksgiving and at the end of the year. But as a seller, you can still sell as a premium. Look, houses have gone up 7% already this year, uh, year over year, as well as you will have more inventory to look at when you make the move and, and purchase a house, which we couldn't do during COVID times. You didn't have a lot of supply of inventory. You had to get a post occupancy. Maybe you had to go rent. You had to find another place, stay at a hotel. You know, now you can actually do a contingency uh, offer where your house needs to sell before you can move to the next property. And sellers are, are open to those conversations. If your home possibly is on the market and under contract, they will and possibly agree to a, to a contingency offer. So right now the mortgage in industry news. 30-year fixed uh, rates have actually come down a little. We're actually, it's a little over 7%. It's 7.05%. 15-year uh, fixed loan is at 6.41%. The 30-year jumbo loan is at 7.22%. Um, last year at this time, at the end of October to November, the rates were 7.91%. So honestly, right now, the rates have gone down by 1% from last year and our prices have gone up 7%. So when people say you should wait, how long are you going to wait until the prices go up so much that it doesn't make sense. If prices keep going up and interest rates will go down a little bit, when is that medium going to happen that makes sense for you? So all of these numbers are indicative that you should be ready for the market. You should be speaking to a lender, speaking to your financial advisor, and speaking with a real estate agent that has their pulse on the market that can give you the information because all neighborhoods are different, but this is a city market update and we'd love to be able to earn your business and trust. Thanks for watching.